With the new demo available for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, we're really excited to jump in and try out all the new weapons and some of their new moves. The Longsword being one of the most anime weapons, as well as one of the strongest weapons in base game Rise, some might say overpowered, we're really excited to try it out and test out the new moves for it. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure to click like and subscribe down below to support the channel. Also, put in the comments what weapon you plan to main when Sunbreak comes out. Before this demo came out, we already had two new moves for the Longsword that already had been revealed. The first one was the Sacred Sheath combo that looked absolutely amazing and had a counter built into it and it just looked so cool. The other one being Harvest Moon, however in this demo we only have access to Harvest Moon so we can only talk about and show that one. But interestingly enough there is some things about this move that wasn't made clear in the already revealed trailer where it showed it off. Do bear in mind that when you play the demo and you choose your weapon type, you have a pre-made hunter loadout that you cannot see the skills or stats of. This in combination with the fact that the balance changes in the demo are likely not the same as the final version of the game, mean that the damage numbers or even the cooldowns for things may not be the same and therefore may not be a good representation of how the weapon will be in the final release of Sunbreak. So let's talk about Harvest Moon. It's a move that casts out an iron silk ring that narrows your range of attack but boosts your spirit so you can go on the offensive. Within the ring, your spirit gauge won't deplete, and if you perform any counter attacks, it will deal additional hits. The additional hits are actually three more ticks to your counter while you're inside the Harvest Moon ability. It also costs two wire bugs and has a cooldown of around 10 seconds per wire bug. The circle itself lasts for a very long time, around a minute and a half, if you're uninterrupted from being inside. Something to watch out for for this ability is that the cast time is actually fairly long. This means you have to be quite deliberate in your placement of it. Furthermore, you are obviously set inside of this ring, which means you have to be extra careful with your placement, so you don't want to put it somewhere when the monster's running away. In addition to that, you cannot run outside of the circle while your weapon is drawn. Doing so will just knock you over, which is a nice little treat for longsword users who are normally used to tripping other people. But bear in mind that because of this you are trapped inside the circle, but a little tech that you can do to stop this is to sheath your weapon which will then end the Harvest Moon effect and you can run wherever you want. With all of these different factors together, Harvest Moon becomes a very interesting risk reward move. It obviously gives you the benefit of not losing your spirit gauge, and it obviously makes your counter attacks even stronger, which is a core part of the longsword's moveset, but it does mean that you have to be extra, extra careful with your positioning as you cannot leave the ring and obviously monsters do tend to move around a lot. So if you're someone that really struggles with positioning, this move might not be for you. But if you're someone that excels at positioning, this will be a great buff to have in your toolset. Additionally, the circle can be very dangerous. Because you get knocked over when you run into the edge of it with your weapon out, it means that you could be knocked over multiple times or chain stun locked from side to side which although very funny for your teammates to watch, is not very good for you. So I believe that this move might be very good for people who have mastered positioning and countering on the longsword, while for other users that don't lean into those aspects of it and just like to unga bunga, this move probably isn't going to work for them. It's quite interesting to talk about because the longsword has been considered overpowered in the current meta talk of the Monster Hunter community. When some of the new moves for the weapons were revealed, there was a bit of an outcry for the longsword because it's seemed to have two really cool moves while other weapons either got one good move and one mediocre or two mediocre moves. This combined with the fact that the weapon was already strong and dealt a lot of damage had a lot of people quite upset. But let's talk about Soaring Kick or the Helmbreaker move as you may know it because this is one of the core damage components of the longsword. It seems to have been nerfed within the demo. Quite interestingly it seems to have massively increased its cooldown from about 20 seconds to about 30 seconds, roughly a 50% increase in its cooldown. 10 seconds overall is quite a big time gap between using your soaring kick. Of course this is the demo and the balance changes might be different in the full game, but it's something to consider. We have weapon previews for the other weapons already on the channel so make sure to go check them out, but for now we'll leave you with some more longsword gameplay so you can get more of a feel for how the weapon is in Sunbreak.